And now the next in our occasional series where politicians talk about a place in Northern Ireland which has particular significance for them. This week we hear from the DUP MLA, Jim Wells, who takes us on a tour of Rowallan Gardens in Saintfield and tells us about making a momentous decision. I had 10 very happy years working for the National Trust and eight of them I was based here. It was a wonderful experience and I was very committed to the work of the Trust, protecting historic houses, gardens and, and countryside. It was a lovely place to work indeed. For several months that was my office up there and then I, I got promoted so I moved into the main building to the ground floor. Uh, I had a lovely office and a, a great team of staff working with me. The Trust had a policy that staff weren't allowed to get involved in political activities so when I told them that I was standing for the Assembly in 1998 I was asked to leave and that was quite sudden and a bit of a shock but I understood where they were coming from and I've remained friends with the members of staff ever since. This was about six weeks before the election so I, I took a, a, a leap of faith as it were. I walked around the little lake here about ten times deciding whether I was going to make the right decision or not but I made the decision to go and to stand the election. I remember ringing my wife to come and pick me up because I lost the, the car that the Trust provided me with. I remember going down the driveway thinking, what on earth have I done? I have walked out on a, a very good job with a, a, a world-renowned organisation to take the risk of standing for Stormont and I mightn't get elected. It was the six most difficult weeks of my life because I was campaigning from 8 o'clock in the morning to maybe 10 o'clock at night, six days a week, and then going home and writing press releases. It led to a very humorous incident where I met in Castle Well and I was canvassing late one Saturday night, it was raining, and I, I met a member of staff from the National Trust and he asked me why I was I still canvassing, it was 10 o'clock at night and everybody else was way home. I says, Denzel, I've got two visions. One's the visions, a vision of the gates of Stormont and the other's a vision of a gate leading into my own social security office. And I said to him, which set of gates do you think I want to walk through on June the 26th? And I think that explains just how difficult a position I was in. The rest history, that's 11 years ago, and of course I've been in the Assembly ever since. It's a decision I've never regretted. Um, it was the right thing for me to do. I'd been 10 years here and I was perhaps getting a bit old for the job that I was in. And I've still remained committed to the basic ethos of the Trust, which is the protection of our environment. And that's a theme that's run through my entire political career at Stormont. That is doing nothing to sustain the countryside. Now, if I one... No, I will, well, I said I'd give way to the opposition. <laughs> the political life is something I feel I'm made for. I would have regretted it for the rest of my life had I not taken the decision. I would have wondered what if, so at least I know what the answer is. I have this sort of dual personality, I have an interest in politics and also an interest in the environment. I've been very fortunate. I've been able to, to do both. Very few people can say that.